Hello, this is a simple card trick. As you can see, I have a perfectly ordinary deck of cards laid out in front of you. The only difference between this and any other deck is that mine happens to be blue, because I like blue. I also have a few other props on the table here. Number one is the die. Number two is an extra card, which I will get to using later. Now, why do I have a die and an extra card? It's quite simple, really. The answer is, you're watching me on the internet. You're not physically here. You are miles away and possibly even years in the future. So how can you possibly choose a card? The answer is you can't. I have to choose a card for you. And no matter what happens, if I, the magician, am choosing a card for you, you're going to be suspicious of whatever card that might be. So, we're going to have the dice choose the card. How do we do that? This is obviously not a 52-sided die. We're going to make six piles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to number them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you see how this works? Whatever number we roll on the die, we're going to put that card on top of the deck. Or rather, that pile of cards. We're not going to do this 52 times. So pile number three will be the beginning. Number one goes on top of the deck. Number three, we've already rolled. Number four, if you can't see, that is a four. That goes on top of the deck. Number three, we've already rolled a three. Number two, that goes on top of the deck. Number five, goes on top of the deck. And I'm not going to waste time rolling. I'm just going to put card number six pile on top of the deck. Now, that means that we have freely selected this card right here on top of the deck. Now they had a free choice, once again, a totally free and normal ordinary deck of cards. My prediction, your card. Thank you.